What is up YouTube, it's your boy Judd, in today's video I'm going to be going over basically what I like and dislike and all that good stuff about Black Ops 3. <laughs> Alright guys, as many of you guys know, past week we have had access to the Black Ops 3 beta. Now, this game was absolutely amazing. I got a list of things that I liked about it. I got a few things that I disliked about it. And you know, just a few things I have mutual feelings for. I'm like, well, I kind of wish they had it taken out, but it's not really a game breaker or anything like that. Yeah, guys, I'm going to go over the things I like about the game. Remember, this game is in beta, though. It was a beta version, not the complete game. So things are going to change, more than likely, come November 6th when the game is released. But as of right now, from the beta, what I experienced, these are the amazing things about this game. First, I want to talk about weapon balancing. It is back, weapon balancing. You're like, what do you mean? Well, we was playing Advanced Warfare for the last few months, you know, since last November. And we had BALS, we had asm one. We didn't really have that weapon balancing act. Well, in this game, I'd have to say, when it comes to assault rifles, we was able to use the AK, or the ARC-7 is what they call it in the game. It's basically an AK. We was able to use the Man of War. We was able to use the um, M8A7, which is basically just the M8 from Black Ops 2. And all them guns was very viable options. They were great. And then your SMGs, I mean, you had a Razorback, you had a CUDA, and they were the only two SMGs I actually played with. But them were amazing guns. They were both very viable. And one of the, the next thing I really, really, really enjoyed about the game was Lethal Streaks came back. I mean, it was just, I don't know how many, four pieces, five pieces. Six pieces I've seen with uh, the Hellstorm. The Hellstorm may actually be a little OP. I'm not really sure if they're going to nerf it or not. But man, it, it was an amazing streak. I loved it. You could definitely get some kills with that thing. Probably one of my favorite streaks to run in the beta version. The Lightning Strike, it, it was it was okay. I don't think the Lightning Strike was as good as Black Ops 2, but it was pretty lethal. It was pretty lethal. Um, the Rolling Thunder, I was kind of disappointed in it. For the most part, lethal streaks like crazy. You have a GI unit. You have a mothership. The Wraith. The Wraith was absolutely crazy as well. So many kills with that thing. It was definitely, definitely, definitely amazing when it came to the kill streaks. The maps, guys. The maps on the game. Absolutely amazing. I love the maps. Unfortunately, we only got to play four maps. I don't even remember all of them. I think I know one of them was Stronghold. One of them was called um, Hunted. I think another one was called... I don't even remember. I think it's called Compound or something like that. But really good maps. I like the layouts of the map. You know, they was classic. Three lane maps. The maps were... I mean, it was just absolutely amazing the way the maps were. But, yeah, guys, yeah, the maps were pretty good. From what we got to play, the four maps we've seen was absolutely amazing. I thought they was really good. Well thought out and well done. The other thing I liked was the pacing of the game. I don't know if you guys watched what I expected out of Black Ops 3 video I posted, I don't know, probably about two months ago. But I said, I didn't really want exosuits, but I wanted a fast-paced game. I wanted the pace of the game to be somewhat close to Advanced Warfare. And I have to say, they did an amazing job with the chain movement. You're able to boost jump, exo jump, whatever you guys want to call it. You're able to slide, and you can move across the map rather fast. Not as fast as Advanced Warfare, but Advanced Warfare may have been too fast anyways. But definitely a, a good pace. I mean, but the best thing about it is you can do all these movements, but these movements do not help you get out of a gunfight. Like, you're not going to be able to engage in a gunfight and then use your movement to get out of it as much as you could in Advanced Warfare. I mean, obviously, you're going to be able to do it, but nowhere near as much because you do have to give it time for your meter to charge back up in order to use all them uh, fancy movements and stuff like that. Where Advanced Warfare, you could just so boost backwards, good exo boost straight up every single time, no recharge, no wait. So the pacing of the game was amazing. Next thing I really enjoyed, the customization of the weapons. The paint shop. It was absolutely amazing. I loved the paint shop. There was so much you could do with it. They actually added a gradient where you could fade colors in. They had different materials you could join, you could choose from. It was absolutely amazing. Um, I had a couple game modes return back, and they they did a pretty good choice with a new game mode as well. Uplink did return. 
absolutely love Uplink. I think it's probably one of the best game modes added to COD, in my opinion. I, I love it. It's fun to play. It's good for competitive. And it's just an overall good game. Love. I love Uplink. Uh, Demolition came back. That means we can drop kills again. We can drop so many kills. It's going to be awesome. Demolition. Really good game. I'm really glad to see it return. Then they added a new game mode. It's called Safeguard. Basically, what you do is there's a robot... And you have to escort the robot when you're on offense. When you're on defense, obviously, you have to prevent the delivery of the robot. It is a crazy game mode. Lots of kills. I've seen people dropping 100 bombs in it like crazy. It was a really, really, really fun game mode. I loved it. But, um, also, gun attachments. You're like, what do you mean? We've always had gun attachments. Well, and this, you can put six attachments on it. But, well, obviously, one of them has to be an optical, like a red dot or something. But besides your optical, you can put five more attachments on your gun. That is absolutely crazy. And I know a lot of people, if you haven't played the game, I see a lot of people saying, well, that's OP. It's not OP at all. If you have ten attach, if you have five attachments on your gun with an optical, that's all you have. You're not going to have perks or anything like that. Because it is going to take spots in the pick ten class. So I think that's very well balanced. And I'm not going to lie, I put a lot of attachments on, I think it was an M8, and the gun was a beast. It was a real beast, but I was lacking, I was lacking, you know, in my perks and stuff like that. And lethal tacticals and all that stuff, I was really lacking in it. It was a good experience, I love the ability to do that, even though I don't see it being utilized much, I still like it that it is a uh, option to choose from. Sniping in the game. I know I'm probably going to make a lot of people mad or a lot of people happy with this, but the sniping in the game was awesome. Quick scoping, quick scoping is still there, but you're going to have to have some skill to quick scope. It's, I don't think, I don't find it nowhere near as easy as Black Ops 2 or any other card. Quick scoping is a whole lot different. Sniping is different, period. I see a lot of people hard scoping. But I also see the return of the sniping community because let's be real, Advanced Warfare, there was no sniping community, not really. I mean, you had a couple people, but I mean, if you go look up what Call of Duty had the most montages, I mean, I guarantee there was more montages post of Black Ops 2 sniping yesterday than Advanced Warfare. I mean, even when Advanced Warfare was in its prime, you know, uh, January, February, I'd say around that time, people had had the game and... All that stuff, I still think there was still probably more Black Ops 2 sniping montages than there was Advanced Warfare. I'm pretty sure there is, no doubt about it. Um, the melee system, absolutely love it. Panic knifing, not there. If you run into somebody, you are going to panic knife them, you're going to have to hit them again. Because it takes two hits. Because unless you have a knife, if you have a knife in your hand, yeah, it only takes one hit. But if you're just running around with your gun, you're not going to be able to panic knife. You're actually going to have to hit them and... You can shoot them, or you can shoot them and hit them, and, or you can just hit them twice. Pretty good system, because let's be real, advanced warfare, someone could be behind you and you could panic knock them. It was pretty ridiculous. SND, I love the SND. What I love most about it is in the top left-hand corner, right below your mini-map, it told you how many people's alive. I can't count how many times in previous cards I have died when I was seeing how many of their team was alive because I was pressing the select button or the back button whatever you call it looking at the scoreboard and I just get killed happened so many times to me graphics the colors absolutely love it a more vibrant kind of colors to it I think kind of like a Black Ops 2 it really is a lot like Black Ops 2 obviously it's Treyarch but the colors of it is just absolutely amazing I absolutely loved it and it was really 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 good um the ping meter what I mean by ping meter is while you're in game, you know, when you press it, when you play Advanced Warfare, you play Ghost, you play any other Call of Duty, you press that back button, you look at the scoreboard, you have your ping bars, you have four of them. Well, on this game, you still have that, but you can press the start button, actually get numbers to your ping. So, I mean, you can see, like, oh, I'm on a 13 millisecond. It's absolutely amazing. I absolutely love the design. They did a real good job with that. Hit detection. Hit detection in the game was absolutely amazing. You know when you're hitting somebody. I mean, the hit detection wasn't exactly as good as it's going to be in the final version. I'm 100% sure. I think it's going to be a whole lot better in the final version. But in the beta, it was still pretty good. I definitely enjoyed it because it's just, it just has that sound. Like, I don't know. But speaking of sounds, let's get into sound effects. The sound effects in the game. I mean, when you run into somebody, like let's say you run into an enemy team. 
like your your ear starts ringing and it's I think it's really really awesome and it kind of it stuns you for a second kind of I guess but not really like it doesn't it's not really gonna make you lose a gunfight it is a very good very good sound effects as well as uh, when you're shooting in water when you're shooting water it sounds really awesome when you're reloading in water when you're reloading in general it sounds awesome but talking about the water, the water element of the game, it's just absolutely amazing. Hopping in the water, engaging in the gunfights, in the water, I find it very fun, very awesome. But yeah, um, the next thing I want to talk about guys is basically the mutual. You know, I really don't care, I don't think it's going to break the game, it's not going to really make me mad about the game. But it is something that I think the game could have done without. I don't think we really need a wall running. I mean, wall running is balance i'm not gonna say it's not balanced because if you wall run chances are you're gonna lose the gunfight and a lot of times when you wall run it's suicide it really is a lot of times definitely on uh there's one map i can't remember the name of it i think it's called compound c dom spawn c domination spawn there's a wall on the right side you, you run on that thing you're gonna get killed more than likely you're just gonna get absolutely get beasted while you're on that wall run specialist abilities and weapons i don't think the game needed them it's not it's not unfair they are balanced in my opinion every one of them actually i think every one of them was pretty much balanced i mean because you had one of them which was uh called vision pulse which was a special ability you use it and you can see enemies within a certain range like through walls kind of like is it threat detection added on advanced warfare uavs stuff like that it's kind of like that but it's within a certain range but you could see like your your body would turn red and you would know when people was just you know you would know when people knew you were there and you could run away or anything like that it's a pretty good balance and reject basically you come back to life when the game first was out there was a little bug where you kept your score streak going you could get a nuclear just by just kept rejacking or whatever but they did take that out thank god at that point it was OP, but now I think it's really, really, really good. It's going to be very useful in search and stuff like that. But I don't think we needed it. Um, the specialist guns and weapons and stuff, they're, they're OP. Every one of them is OP. I mean, there's no doubt about it. They're all very, very, very good. But everyone has a specialist. Therefore, I do think it's balanced. But I don't think the game needed them. Things I dislike. Now, there's not really many things I dislike about the game, but there was a few that was just absolutely annoying. It just made you want to just absolutely turn the game off at times. Black hat. You guys remember from Black Ops 2, you could take a black hat, you could hack a claymore, you could hack or shock charges, anything like that. And, you know, no big deal. You know, enemy took your black hat, whatever. Trophy system, you know, Black Ops 2 is okay. However, in Black Ops 3, you know, I threw one game, I got five wraiths. What a wraith is, is basically kind of like a stealth chopper. And I got five of them, and every one of them got hacked. And when they hack them, they get to use them. Like, basically, you earn a wrath, and somebody who just has black hat on their class can sit there, aim it up at the sky, hack your wraith, your mothership, you know, what, what have you, and they can take control of it. And I think that was kind of unfair, because... I mean, the, the people, they wasn't really getting kills or anything like that. They just run Black Cat and would hack them. And I didn't really like that aspect. I think that really needs to be nerfed. I don't mind if they hack a UAV or, you know, low score streaks like that. But my higher score streaks, anything above a Hellstorm should not be hacked. Flinch or toughness. There's no toughness in the game. Um, and when you get shot, you flinch. You flinch pretty hard. And it is very hard to be accurate when you're flinching so much. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. We'll get used to it. But I would. I don't really want toughness added. I just want them to take the flinch down just a hair. Not really that much. And the final thing is the frag grenades and concussion grenades. They were absolutely OP. The, ra the radius on them things was extremely high. And the effects it had on you, definitely the concussions. I mean... It was almost impossible to win a gunfight, but it is whatever. And the last thing I dislike is that I'm gonna have to wait until November to play this game again, which is very disappointing because I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be an amazing Call of Duty. I think this is gonna bring Call of Duty back. This is what we've needed because Ghost and Advanced Warfare wasn't exactly the best game. 
they were decent, but they weren't the best. They weren't the best. It did kind of lower the COD community, and that is why so many people are still playing Black Ops 2. So I think Black Ops 3 is going to be an amazing game. It's going to bring COD back. It's going to bring Sniper community back. I think it's going to be really good for competitive. But yeah, guys, that's basically my thoughts on the Black Ops 3 beta that I played. I hope you guys did enjoy. You guys don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm sorry for rambling on so long, guys. This is probably one of my longest videos ever. But I want to thank every one of you guys for the 1,500 subs again. You guys are amazing. It's your boy Judd, and I'm out of here, guys. Peace.